What in the world is going on down here? <laughs> Look at this. Well, today I am in Shillington, Pennsylvania, and we are here at the Shillington Goodwill, and we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. This is exciting. It looks like they got new carts. Walking by the end cap, and I noticed this. Uh, it's only a dollar ninety-nine. I'm gonna pick that up. It's Victorian milk glass, um, likely from a vanity set. There is a turtle. All right. Oh, I'm excited. What is this? Ooh, that looks like it's got some age to it. One ninety-nine. Chinese pattern H and C. That's kind of pretty. The um, yellow almost has a luster to it. That's yeah, definitely worth more than a buck ninety-nine. Here we have some Dedham pottery. Unfortunately, there's a giant chunk out of it. You can see this is the more contemporary Dedham pottery, unlike the chick plate that I got and sold for twelve hundred dollars. That platter looks like it's got some age. What is happening? We just walked in the door. This is exciting. That is Iroquois, the museum collection. So it's meant to look older than it actually is. It's a nice mug. I like the shape of that. I wish there was more than one. I'm gonna stick it in my cart and see if we can find another one. Um, otherwise I might throw it back. Just glasses. Oh, I thought maybe they were applied glass threading, but they're not. There are some glasses there, or not. It's just an empty <laughs> glasses case. I thought maybe we were gonna find some cool vintage glasses in there. Was not the case. All right, let's see what else we can find. Love this platter down here. It's such a shame that it's all chipped up. Let's see what it says on the bottom at least, shall we? Angelista. So it's an art pottery piece. I just love the pattern, but I can't forgive all the chipping. Well, here we are in the brown section. We've got a cute hobbyist owl glued to a rock. It's a Jim Shore figurine. Where is the breakage? Oh, right there on the front. <laughs> I don't know why every time I find Jim Shore there's something wrong with it. It's a juicer, but it's just clear. I think if it was uh, uranium glass, we would grab it. Ooh, makes me nervous. Look at that, will ya? That's beautiful. Goodness gracious, it's a cruel embroidered clock. And it uh, looks like it needs a big battery in there. That's beautiful though. How much do they have on that, I wonder? Let's see, oh, $3.99, only $3.99. I'm not sure if it works or not, but even if it doesn't, that seems like it would be pretty easy to replace, so. I'm gonna stick that in my cart. What do we have here? Italy. Doesn't look like there's any breakage on it, surprisingly. Uh, you know? No, I think that's just where the handle meets. I don't think that's breakage. Maybe. Am I being too optimistic? <laughs> it's $1.99. I'll pick that up. Okay. Oh, that looks. I like the texture of it. It looks like it wants to be recycled glass, but it is not fire and light. And I'm still on the lookout for fire and light. I've only ever found it once. They're about to lose that shelf there. The whole thing is drooping just a little. <laughs> That's a little scary. What is that? I really love the glaze on that, but it has a giant chip on it. There is some art glass down there. Well, not necessarily art glass. It's a glass piece, and that's about it. <laughs> Not very exciting. Is that down there? That looks good. Made in Italy. $1.99. Fantastic. Looks interesting. What is that? That's a pretty fla metal flower mounted on wood. And there is a signature on the bottom. It's dated 1998. There is a horse bookend, it looks like. It's um, marked on the bottom with an initial, so I'm assuming it's probably a hobbyist piece. That was a blank that somebody glazed. They want $3.99 for it. It's got a chip. The form is nice, but we're gonna leave that behind. The 
this is, yep, that's the same one that's been there a while. It's all chipped up, unfortunately. It's a really pretty butterfly shade. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's mine. I appreciate that. I was, up. I was you cut yourself. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. So that was another reseller um, who watches my channel. I've run into her a few times and the shade was broken and she had already cut herself on it. So she, she wanted to make sure I didn't grab it and cut my fingers like she did. So we're good. They're taking, she's taking it up front and uh, <laughs> giving it to them so nobody else gets cut. I kind of like the fabric on that bag for 99 it's very lightweight though I don't think it's anything special now it's blank not even branded $2.99 yeah I don't know I guess I could sell that as a vase but I think I'll pass on it we have quite a few pieces from Italy in our cart okay well let's see what we can find here oh she's pretty I've seen ones like this before is that in Russia yeah made in Russia it's a trinket box, but unfortunately the flowers are a little chippy on that. This is where we found that amazing Sid and Stricker bowl the last time we were... Oh, I'm sorry, Peggy Carr. It was a Peggy Carr bowl on the bottom shelf. So I'm trying to remind myself to look at the bottom shelf. Kind of cute. <laughs> Rafa House Love Rescue Shield. Aww. Very sweet. It's sun faded, so it must have been sitting in a window or something. They're fun pineapple shakers. They do have barcodes on the bottom, so they're probably more contemporary. Oh my gosh, look at this. I actually have this little coin purse. <laughs> Juliet confiscated it though. Had it for a long time, $2.99. <laughs> Oops, everything's gonna fall if I take that. Alright, let's see. Here we go. $1.99. Panther with checks, no problem. Uh, the flowers have been pretty chipped up though. Okay, well here we are in the yellow section. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's one of those really cool candles. Look at that. And behind it, is that... Hmm. Let's investigate that a little bit, shall we? Come here, you. Made in China, okay. Not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I like those uh, those knobs there. They kind of reminded me of Mackenzie Child, so that's why I got excited for a minute. But let's check out this candle, shall we? Four ninety nine. Eh, it's really broken and damaged. Made in India. That's pretty. One little part. I could hang that on my back porch. I think. Down there is a fun handmade wreath for $4.99. I love the fabrics that they use. Yeah, Dia de los Muertos. Look at how fun that bag is. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Got eyelashes and everything. And these are neat. It's a shame there's no bottles to go with them. We have here. That looks like it could be Fenton. Is it? Yeah, hand-painted Fenton, $1.99. <laughs> it was hiding behind the piggy there. That's fantastic. I don't see any chips or cracks on it. Oh, he's missing the rest of his family for <laughs> $3.99. You know what? I'm gonna also stick him in the cart and maybe when we get over to the Christmas section, we'll find the rest of his family. Oh, look at this. Glass candies, I have some of those already. And what are these? Are these more? What's in there? Oh, they're buttons. <laughs> I think that's neat. I might pick that up. Looks like a crafting supply stuff. And some buttons in there. Might be worth selling in a lot. I do have to be careful because there's some glass pieces in there that look like they're broken. There's some loose sites. I believe that's a trivet. $2.99 with the butterflies inside. Loose site's been a good seller for us recently, so take it with us. Um, and then I was noticing this down here. It's probably, yeah, it's plastic. <laughs> Reminds me of 1980s. Sirocco handmade. I don't know if that piece is necessarily shippable. 
but it could be a good booth piece. So why not? <laughs> and just like, what are we supposed to do with it? We're gonna put it in our booth. It'll be a booth piece, $6.99. Now that I've done all of the shelves one time, I'm going to slow down a little bit and start digging just to see what else we can find. And they are restocking. So you just never know. What is this? Pretty inspirations. House accessory. <laughs> Noticing this hummingbird feeder here on the shelf for $4.99. Like that teal glass. It looks like it is molded. It's not hand blown. It's $4.99. Just needs a hook to hang by. And the world is that thing. Oh my gosh, it's like some sort of serving tray and all of the little swans just go in there. <laughs> That's so bizarre. I mean, it's cool, but it's bizarre. And I don't know. I might look that one up. I'm gonna stick it in there. I think we're gonna scoot over to the side. A quick look up didn't yield anything. I'm just not so sure about this. It is made of plastic. I think if it was made of porcelain or something, I would definitely pick it up, but there we go. Oh, that's a lampshade. I thought that that was a frosted glass bowl, but it's a really dirty lampshade. She looks like she might be vintage. Uh, Costell. It's not something I'm familiar with. Maybe I'll look her up. Okay, well she was definitely worth looking up. She's made from wax. You can see this 13 inch one in the box sold for $125. This one is not quite 13 inches. She's smaller than that. Seven, so. She might sell for about 45. Yeah, I'm glad that I looked her up. She's pretty cool. We will check the Christmas section and see if we can find her. 13 inch sister. All right, well, since I have this rogue nativity figurine <laughs> and this angel in my cart, I'm gonna go check out the Christmas because there might be something good hiding over here. Looks like some Jeanette Flora gold that somebody stashed over here. Pebble art. Eh, $1.99, it's definitely vintage. It has some issues there on the side. Hmm. I don't know. As far as pebble art goes, it's not the most exciting. This is a Nesco back here. Santa Claus and a snowman. Permit 56. Oh, here's the Avon. Santas of the Nation. I feel like I've looked these up before and they don't do exceedingly well. I could be wrong. I could have looked them up before and they did exceedingly well. Who is this? Hmm. Obviously she's a doll. She's got her trick-or-treat stuff. It says there on the tag. Who is she? Sunrise in America. Celebrate celebrating growing up in America. Trick-or-treating is so American. I can understand what they're getting at. Unfortunately, her wing looks broken. Oh. <laughs> this is Erzgeberg. I know I mispronounced that. Um but we'll put that in our cart for a $1.99. A vintage season's greetings tray. Hmm, I've gotten sold that before. And I got that giant Christmas present. Wowzers. What does the bottom say? David's cookies. It's a cookie. Cookie jar, I guess. What is that down there? That is Victoria Station. I think it might be Department 56, but uh, I can see there's damage there in shipping. So I'm not gonna waste bending over and putting myself through that just to check out something that is broken. I'm completely neglecting the artwork. <laughs> Staring at the wrong side of the shelf. It's vintage at least. Looks like somebody tried selling it for a dollar. And then those down there, looks like somebody donated their artwork. Okay, so I'm not seeing the rest of that nativity set. I'm going to put that figurine back. Um, it is made in Mexico. I wonder if that's Joseph. 
but without his friends, I don't know if it's worth it. I did just notice this. What is that? I wonder if that's Primitives by Kathy. I think he would have had an instrument in his mouth. <laughs> Piggy napkin holder. Some of the googly eyes fell off though. What in the world is going on down here? <laughs> Look at this. Somebody put a flower in the figurine's head. Oh my goodness. That's too funny. There is a crazy looking bunny light back here that we have to at least pull out to check out. We can't. It's stuck. Let's see if I can do this without bending over. There we go. Oh my gosh. He's missing some of his buttons. <laughs> but he lights up. Oh boy, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. The last uh, hobbyist bunny I picked up did not do very well, so I'm steering clear. Here's a hobbyist piece, no L. What is this up here? A little bunny made in China. Is some cut. Oh yeah, Sherwoderish Night by Sharon. <laughs> Big Button sold her work before. She uh, she does a lot of these cut designs locally. It's a dollar ninety nine. Jelly, jam, and honey. They are missing their lids, and they are really chipped up. Oh wow, that's ceramic. <laughs> I didn't. I thought that was gonna be plastic. $6.99. I think it's supposed to have a lid though because you can see it has a lid. The lid is missing. Part of the missing lid conspiracy. So I grabbed this bag of fake paper mache fruit. Um, and I'm sorry, vegetables. It's $2.99 and I thought, you know what, there could be some value there. And I looked it up and there is some value there. It looks like a whole baggie. <laughs> I've got the bread though. They don't have the bread. Sells for about 40 bucks. Although here it's a little bit less. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. I think at $2.99 we could still make some money. It's interesting to me that all these photos are the same. But I think there's still some money to be made there, even if it's just $16 to $24. We're only paying $2.99 for it. All right, well they are no longer stocking. And uh, I feel like we've done everything we can to find treasures on the shelf. So I'm probably gonna maybe do one or two more rows and then I'm gonna get out of here. There is a hand blown piece. It's made in China though. Okay, well I am going to put this back on the shelf because I was not able to find a matchy match for it. Okay, well it is crazy windy out there, but it feels really nice. Uh, we are back in the car now. Uh, I will put my total spend down below because I just stuck my receipt right in the bag and scooted right out of there. Uh, but we got some really great stuff today. I was I was a little apprehensive. I always am. I think every time going into the Goodwill, I'm like, am I going to find anything? But we found some stuff today. I'm very excited about that angel. I'm so glad I looked it up because if I hadn't, I would have had no clue. So that was exciting, and I'm definitely going to be looking for those in the future, especially the 13-inch. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I've got a long ride home, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long. Okay, so Shelby processed that grab bag that I got, and I wanted to show you guys some of the treasures that were inside because I couldn't really get a close look at them while they were in the bag. But this so far has been one of my favorite pieces that I pulled out of there. There's just lots of little beads. I think these were intended as craft pieces to make independence. Just decorative little tiles. There's some Millefiore tiles in here as well. I don't know, maybe they're just beads for pendants, but that was a really cool uh, little lot there. I'm pretty pleased with it. That could be a barrette. So anyway, there you go. That's what was in the bag. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.